Now let me show you how your Concrete Calc Pro's block key can solve the number of bricks, blocks, tiles, pavers, footings you need. First off, the default block size is a standard concrete block, 8 by 8 by 16. And we'll leave that there for now, but later on I'll show you how to change that. Say we want to figure out the number of blocks in a single course 100 feet long. So 100 feet is my length, press blocks, 75 blocks. Now let's say we want to do a wall uh, 100 feet long and 6 feet high. So let me clear that. We'll go 100 feet length, 6 feet is my height. How many blocks is that? 675 blocks. Now, of course, you might add a percent for waste, but we'll leave that for some other time. Now, this can also be used for tiles. So let's do a common 12 inch by 12 inch tile. One square foot, 12 inch by 12 inch, equals 144 square inches. That's the surface area of a tile. So we're going to store that as our block size. The way you do that is you press store, and above blocks it says block size. So now it's stored. Block area, 144 square inches. So now let's put in, just directly put in 100 square feet. Feet, feet, two presses gets us to square feet. Now press blocks. We're going to have 100 of those one foot square tiles in that room. That makes sense. Now say we're going to do a, a patio. It's uh, using 4 by 8 inch pavers. And it's a 10 by 10 patio. So we know 4 by 8 is 32 square inches, but we're going to calculate it. 4 inch by 8 inch equals 32 square inches. Now let's store that as our block size. It's stored. Um, we're going to do 100 square feet, feet, feet is our area, press the blocks. We're going to need 450 of those 4 by 8 inch pavers. So that's a quick overview on the block function. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.